Hey guys, I'm Elizabeth Lopez, registered holistic nutritionist and master trainer. And today I'm going to answer one of the great questions of the world. How do I get my water in? I know, you know, you've, you've heard it a million times, drink your water and you're just like, yeah, I'm going to. And every day it's tomorrow, I'm going to drink enough water and then you don't. So I'm going to help you to figure out how to actually do it this time and stick to it. Are you ready? Let's first start off with some of the amazing benefits of water just in case we forgot or didn't know. Water can give you shiny, healthy hair. It can give you bright skin. It can give you energy. There is faster metabolism, so fat loss, and that is a real thing, yes. All of the things that you probably want in your life water will bring to you, but yet we all struggle every day to be like, oh, did I get my water in? I know it's not like the sexiest topic. Just drink your water, okay, just drink your water. I am gonna make water fun for you. Are you ready? Infused water. Try making it. It is one, delicious, and two, it gives you added benefits to your water, like antioxidants and anti-inflammation and all these other things that are gonna make you even cuter and healthier and less disease and all of this fun stuff rolled into one thing. So let's do it. We're gonna start off with watermelon and basil. It sounds so good, right? But I want you to imagine, it's like, honestly, Smelling basil is like waking up in like a fresh garden. I'm, I'm not, it's just the nicest, most invigorating scent. So not only are you getting benefits of basil, oh my God, basil, it's literally like, it's just so good. And it's anti-inflammatory and cancer fighting. So ta-da, ta-da. I like to let it sit probably about two hours before I will start drinking away at it and that's when you start to get flavor. You can actually refill it a second time with more water and still get more of that yummy taste. Imagine this like at parties or you know you're just walking down the street with your water and people are like "Ooh, what's that you know you're all fancy and stuff. What you want to do and of course all of this is, is pre-washed is you want to you want to scrunch it okay and why am I scrunching up my basil it lets out more flavor. This far away I can still smell it and it is I just want to drink it right now. It's so good. <sighs> and doesn't it's just so pretty. This is something that you can have for your kids too. I think people will be more likely to want to drink this because fruit drink or fruit juice is definitely not something you should have in the place of water because it is not not healthy. We have another if you watch the um, 10 worst healthy foods also on this YouTube. I'll link it below. You can see more about why you don't want that and you don't want it for your kids either. So here's numero uno. Again, these all come with lids, so I can lid them up. They do close, oh. Hold on, there we go. But it came with this, like how am I supposed to know? <laughs> It tastes so good, guys. Just the scent of it, it just like, it just wakes you up and you're getting all the extra benefits of it as well. And for me, I'll sometimes just eat the watermelon afterwards because it's watermelon, so you know. So the next one we're gonna do is strawberry and cucumber. Something about cucumber in your water, it just gives it this like smooth taste. I think that's why spas use it all the time. It's very relaxing kind of flavor, so again, I'm just popping my cucumbers. Like, how easy is this? The strawberry lasts well, but it doesn't last as well as the cucumber, so I would try to do the one with the strawberry, you know, within like two to four hours. So pretty, right? I think if you add mint, does it become a mojito? Am I right? I think it looks kind of mojito-ish. I do have some mint. Should we try that? Am I wrong? Are people that drink laughing at me and saying that's not anywhere close? And where's the alcohol? Well, <laughs> it's not what we're doing here. We're making water. <laughs> I'm smelling a lot of the strawberry, but the cucumber scent does start to come out later. And again, that like really, really nice smoothness. Now, when you see this, you're gonna wanna drink your water, right? Like, think about it. You have this, which of course we know we have to drink, but on those times when you don't want to, how much fun is this, right? It looks all special, like I'm on vacation. The flavor already came through. I didn't even have to wait the two hours. Wow. Oh, so good. Okay, guys, who's thirsty now? You know that you want some of this. It is, oh, 
It's just so good. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna show you guys is, are you ready? Grapefruit, ginger, and basil. With citrus, here is something that a lot of people don't know. Now, okay, on Pinterest and Instagram, when you leave the rind on, it looks prettier. So people do that for the photos. But in actuality, the rind can actually get bitter relatively quickly. So I'm gonna leave it on for this one. Just, you know, you leave it on for the grapefruit one, but we're gonna do a lemon one as well. And you can see I cut the rinds off for the lemon one. And when I make it myself, um, even though the rinds have a lot of nutrients in them, they do taste bitter in the water. So I would recommend um, cutting off those rinds. Like if you leave it overnight, I would not recommend continuing. We're gonna throw in our basil and the grapefruit is like, helps with anti-cancer, anti-colon cancer and stuff. Again, that basil is so good with the immune fighting and the scent of it. And then I'm gonna throw in some ginger. Ginger is great for digestion. It's great for digestion. It's great for inflammation. Isn't that pretty with all those colors in that mix? But this is a really, really nice one, okay? Ta-da, isn't that nice? You might have even tried this one before. And that is our lemon and cucumber. So the lemon, and you can see that I've cut the rind off of it because I don't want it to be bitter. And lemon is great for liver detoxification. Lemon is great for liver detoxification which is really important because we live in a toxic world. So we just, we need that little love of that liver detox. I have lemon probably at least four times a week. So this one has kind of that lemony flavor with a little bit of that smoothness added to it from the cucumber. It's really quite lovely. It's a very popular one. You'll see this at spas really often. So I'm just gonna show you with watermelon. I do this in my house like all the time. So you can get this at like kitchen stores all over the place. I drop things all the time. But watermelon is one I do very often for this. And you just do this and presto. So the reason that I like this is because obviously if I'm pouring it out, you're getting just the water with the infusion of the fruit versus if I'm drinking it out of the, um, if I'm drinking it out of something like this without a straw, right, then I'm gonna get hit in the face with the fruit and that, that's actually what happens. So that's why I've got the straws in there also. Maybe it wasn't just for pretty set design. I really like these. No, this is not sponsored. This is just like a vitamin C water. There's a lot of crap out there that you can put in your waters. And I'll tell you what this doesn't have in it. It doesn't have artificial sweeteners. It doesn't have artificial colors. What it does have is, is just basically, um, vitamins and stevia. So it is fizzy and we are just going to pour it in like so. And now I'm getting a little extra dose of vitamin C, a little bit of a nice flavor. It is actually really tasty with my water, okay? Now you don't wanna have eight of these, okay? It's just, it's a little excessive in your vitamin C. Maybe you wanna have like one of these every so often or one of these a day maybe, but I don't like anything every day. But again, nothing with artificial flavors or colors or, um, or especially artificial sweeteners, okay? Here's another one that I'm actually okay with, which is, this one is the Calm. Again, stevia sweetened. You'll see it has zero color. It is a white powder. This, I actually like having this at night sometimes as like my before bed water. The magnesium in it, it helps you sleep, it relaxes your muscles. A lot of us are magnesium deficient. So this kind of helps to make sure that we're getting our magnesium in. And it really does help with your sleep in a more natural way, okay? And it's actually really delicious. This is um, lemon raspberry flavor. And it is a naturally based one. It's won the uh, Alive Gold award and Alive is, I don't know where you guys are in, in, in where I am, um, Alive is a kind of holistic magazine, so it's won a holistic magazine award. I'm gonna have one more sip, sorry. Cause you know, I gotta get my water in, right? Right, right, see the wink, wink? Dun, dun, dun. So this is chlorophyll, okay? This is like, kind of like plant blood. Now, can we please close up on this glass? I like watching it kind of dissipate in. It's kind of pretty. Can we, can we take, 
Okay, watch. I'm gonna get a bigger cup of water. I'm gonna show you how pretty this is. Just wait. Be prepared. Are you ready for the prettiness? Hold on. Woo! Okay, so pretty as it slowly just kind of does its thing and it swirls. Isn't that nice? It's kind of like art. Okay, and why do I love chlorophyll? It's great for detoxification, it's a cancer fighting, it's great for our skin. It does a multitude of things. It tastes basically like water. There might be like a tinge of like, I think I taste something else, but I'm not sure what it is. You might be able to find a mint flavor. I like the mint flavor better. When I went to search for a new one, they did not have the mint flavor anymore. And this is something, I take this to the gym with me. I think it's actually a really nice post-workout as well. Ta-da. <laughs> the lemon water. This is my favorite and I do this, I can't, I can't focus. This is the one that I do probably more than anything. I love lemon water, which is why if you watch me anywhere on social media, you will see me making my lemon water on a regular basis because it's such, oh sorry, it's such a normal part of life. Are you ready? It's gonna be noisy for a second, sorry. Okay, I insist on having a citrus juicer just because you get so much more. Like I remember the first time using my citrus juicer and I was just like, I am getting way more lemon than ever before doing like that and just like squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. So much, I love, I just love the flavor of lemon. Um, but it also, again, liver detoxifying, liver, liver detoxifying. Um, I use this like probably every morning, like I'll do something like my oil pulling and then afterwards I will do this. Often I'll bring it to the gym with me if I'm doing empty stomach cardio. Just so good for you. Just cleanse your lemon, or cleanse your lemon. I can't speak anymore. Just lemon, lemon, lemon. So it cleanses your liver. I usually don't do a full lemon in such a small glass, although you can. Um, I'll usually do it like in a big, like liter thing of water and I'll do a whole lemon and I'll just take that away with me. I can't help myself. So after you finish drinking it, you wanna wait about 20 minutes before you brush your teeth. So a lot of people do lemon water in the morning. Make sure you don't do lemon water and then brush right after. Rinse out your mouth with just plain water afterwards and then brush your teeth. Otherwise, if you brush your teeth right after, it's actually not good for your enamel. So you'll hear a dentist kind of say, be careful of the lemon water. It's not necessarily lemon water specifically, it's lemon water and then immediately brushing, okay? So be careful of that. And then also like, I'll brush my teeth first. Usually like my order might be something like, if I'm doing oil pulling at the time, I'll do an oil pull and then I'll brush right after. And then kind of as I start my day, I'll have lemon water and some people think, Lemon water tastes gross after brushing your teeth or any citrus orange juice, any of that stuff. If you're using a natural toothpaste, um, it doesn't usually taste bad. So just kind of like things to think about, you know, whatever. At night, you might get hungry, okay? And two, you might not have drink enough water. So sometimes what I will do is I will have some tea. It's called Forever Nuts. I, do not kid you, when you make it, I'm doing, I'm gonna do this like you can smell it too. Picture the scent of apple pie. Come closer, come to the screen, close your eyes and smell the apple pie that I'm like sending your way. It's like wafting at you. Wafting? wafting? Is it wafting or wafting? Waft it wafting. Wafting. Wafting towards you. <laughs> Who knows these things though? <laughs> This is just such a good thing to do when you are just, it's that nighttime and it, it will, it will help fill you up and you've got the scent and all that kind of good stuff and then you just go to bed, okay? Um, this is another one tea-wise that I really like. This is a matcha green tea. Don't have this at bedtime because it does give you some energy, but this is a great one that you can do throughout the day to give you a light natural energy, okay? I hope you enjoyed. If you did and you get to try any of it, please comment below, let me know what you thought. If you have some recipes of your own, share them below. Even if it's links to your own stuff, that's fine, share it. Let's start a conversation about getting healthy, about drinking water, all this kind of good stuff. If you liked it, comment, subscribe. We put out more videos every single week. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Peace out. And drink your water.
maybe not so good altogether. Stop, okay, that's enough. <laughs> enough. Yes, go drink your water, guys. Bye, peace out. And I'm gonna show you an awesome recipe today. It is for almond milk. Almonds are actually really, really healthy. When you purchase at the store, generally they are pasteurized. Whereas here, because it's raw, we get to keep all of that good stuff. First thing that you need to do, you wanna get a cup of almonds, put them into...